Hello everyone, this is from Ayushito.com and today in this video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to create a pop-up on click. I mean when someone click on a button, this kind of pop-up form will open. Actually, you can pop up anything but in this video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to pop up a contact form on click. Suppose that is my website and here I am going to create a button. So for that, first of all, I have to come back to the dashboard. So for creating this pop-up effect, actually I have to install Elementor Pro plugin. From Elementor.com, you can easily buy the Elementor Pro. But if you don't want to buy, then just pause the video and go to the video description. There I'll provide you free Elementor Pro download link. That is the GPL version. So without any worry, you can use that in your website. So I already download the Elementor Pro. So I have to install that. So for that, hover on the plugin and after that I have to click in the add new option next I have to click in the upload plugin option from there I have to click in the choose file option so that is my elementor pro file as you can see elementor pro by web SEO tips I'll give that file link in the video description from there you can easily download this one so after that you have to click in the open option and after that you have to click in the install now option so as you can see here my installation already done after that I have to click in the activate plugin option now for creating the form I am going to use WP form plugin so for that again I have to click in the add new option and here let me search for the WP form so that is the WP form I have to click in the install now option once installation complete I have to click in the activate option so now let me create the form so for that I have to click in the WP form this window will open so from there you have to click in the add new option after that here actually you have to enter the form name i am giving the form name as contact form next by default as you can see here so many pre-built template is available from there i am choosing this one simple contact form click on the use template option after that this kind of form template will open so from there let me edit the template a little bit so for that first of all i have to click in the name field from there i have to come back to the advanced option field size let me make it large from there hide label and hide the sub label also and in the placeholder for the first name i'm writing first name for the last name i'm entering last name similarly come back to the email field here also come back to the advanced option field size i have to make it large next in the placeholder text i'm writing enter your email id next let me add another field for the phone number so i have to click in the add field option and from there just drag and drop this number field here like that next i have to click in this number field come back to the advanced option first of all i have to hide the label and i forgot to hide the label for the email also so again click in the email field and here you can see the hide label enable that now let me come back to the number field so here in the advanced option i have to enter the placeholder text and that will be enter your phone number next i have to click in this message field so here also i have to come back to the advanced option first of all i have to hide the label and in the placeholder text i am entering enter your message next once done i have to click in the save option after that i have to click in this cross option for closing that next for creating the pop-up i have to hover on the template and from there you have to click in the pop-up option now let me click in the add new pop-up make sure pop-up should be selected here and the pop-up name i am giving as on click you can give any name and after that you have to click in this create template option from there this page will open so as you can see here by default so many pop-up template already available here you can use them if you want but i am going to create the pop-up from scratch so let me click in the close option now let me click in the plus option i am taking single row single column i have to click in this plus option and here i have to search for the wp form just drag and drop this wp form here like that and from this drop down i am selecting contact form so as you can see here my contact form coming properly next i have to click in the publish option here no need to add any condition trigger or advanced rule directly click in the save and close option so as you can see here it's already updated now let me come back to the dashboard again so for that i have to click in the exit to dashboard so from here let me open the website so hover on that and right click on the view site and open it in a new tab so that is my website so now let me open this page with edit with elementor mode so for that i have to click in this edit with elementor option now scroll down a little bit because i want to add a button here so let me search for the button here drag and drop the button here like that and the button text that will be contact us so i want to add a arrow also so for that i have to click in this icon library and from there let me search for the arrow suppose i am taking this arrow click on that and click in the insert option and after that icon position that will be after next what i have to do here you can see the link option i have to click in this dynamic tag so from the scroll down a little bit in the action here you can see the pop-up click on that after that here you can see the range icon just click on that and in action that will be open pop-up 
and now i have to click in this drop down for the pop up and i have to enter the pop up name i am giving the pop up name as on click so let me search for that so as you can see here on click is coming here click on that and after that you have to click in the update option so once it updated let me click in this preview option for the page so now let me scroll down little bit so as you can see here there is the button click on that so as you can see here your pop-up is coming perfect and this pop-up form is totally responsive for checking the responsive preview right click and click in the inspect element from there i have to click in this responsive option so as you can see here that is the mobile preview and it's coming perfectly and now let me check the tablet preview so in the tablet preview also as you can see it's coming perfectly i'm ending the video tutorial here if you have any kind of doubt always you can ask me in the comment section if you really like this video then don't forget to like and share this video and Please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest notification from my YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.